Hey, what is up, guys? It's me, Mr. Bear Thirty Eight here, and I'm bringing you some Season Two Halo Infinite news. Let's get right into it. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Season One has not been the greatest. So first up here, we have no audio settings. Finally, the ability to hear opponent shields recharge sound will be reduced. I. To be honest, I never really heard the sound of the shields, to be honest, at all. But that's just me. I could have my audio settings wrong. The volume of Grunt Birthday, I, I never had it on. <laughs> I would not know. But it's good that they're making that improvement. Now, the one we all have been waiting for for a long time is Arena and BTB. We're finally getting the new map, Catalyst which will have multiple playlists, which is great to hear because the playlists we have now are just bland and they're over and over again. We're finally getting back King of the Hill after all this time. King of the Hill, OG playlist in Halo Infinite, which is great to come back. Attrition is back. Attrition is finally back. That game mode was, it was perfect and then it got removed. I'm so glad it's coming back. But I'm not sure if it will be permanent or it's not. Hopefully it's permanent. Let's hope so. Um, so we finally have the ability for when a player is revived, you can move immediately. So there was a time during when attrition was around, you'd spawn and you'd stand there for probably like five seconds and you'd just get shot dead straight away. It was not enjoyable. Motion track radar will have its outer edge detection enabled for shooting and sprinting in social playlists. Uh, I think that means like maybe it'll have like a yellow blip like it used to in the sum of the other Halo games where you shoot and it'll show up. I never really paid much attention to that to be honest. But some people might, especially for like the pro leagues maybe. It's a good addition. So BTB, we are getting a new map called Berserker, which will be, I think from the pictures we've seen, is like a desert type map, which will be absolutely great. Jeff is finally coming back for the announcement medals, which will be so amazing because he is dearly missed in BTB with no sounds whatsoever when it comes to hearing that. Um, the issue with symmetrical weapon racks, I'm so happy this is getting addressed because it was so annoying if you go into like fragmentation or any of the BTB maps and one side would have a sniper and then the other side would have a skewer. It was just not fun and the games felt extremely unbalanced and it made the game not fun. Um, in matchmaking they've showed the CSR progression bar now which will be great. I'm not exactly sure how that will reflect. To be honest, I don't play much ranked anymore since the reset, but hopefully it will improve it very well. Um, custom games. I'm glad they're fixing bugs to custom games because custom games was broken as hell and still is at the moment. Personalizing AI Spartan Chatter. Balance adjustments were made to emphasize what import what's important to most players. Most of the time I have Spartan Chatter off because it's just distracting anyway. The big one here, which is for all the PC players out there, which will be amazing, which is stability. The game on PC has terrible, terrible stability. Hopefully this will resolve it and not make it worse. Hopefully. Now we're moving to the sandbox of Halo. Melee fight should be more consistent with opponents phasing through each other less and withing. So that would be good because there were times where you would melee someone and you would go through. Like this is them turning off play collision. You just go through the person and it would not connect. And if you had higher ping, it would make it a hundred times worse. So I'm glad they're fixing that. Global melee damage has decreased 10% on weapons that require Manga to learn two shots. So, I'm not... <clears throat> See, it's a bit decisive in the community because I didn't have a problem with the Mangular, but the pros did, and they didn't want it in ranked. I reckon it, they should have, like, 
just taken it out of rank instead of nerfing it. Like, maybe just increase the spawn time on it because it was a good weapon and it's very hard to hit them three shots to get the perfect kill. Um, the Ravenger damage has been increased without the, like, without the charge part, which hopefully, I think, it, hopefully it's like the flight when the flight first came out because the Ravenger in the flight was an absolute beast. I loved that. Friend or foe recognition tags. The system will now have the options allowing players to modify the thickness. So, back on the flight, you could change the thickness of it, of like the character's outline. But it never really worked. And I'm not too sure how that will go because, I don't know, sometimes the outlining system I'm not too much of a fan of. It's very annoying, especially with that new nail polish skin like the purple because I have purple for my outline I can't tell the enemy's colour because of that purple skin so maybe it will help I'm not sure the equipment drop wall getting slight performance increase that's good thank god because the drop wall is basically useless to be honest at the moment overshield will provide slightly more shielding that is great because I feel like the moment you get overshield you take one shot and it's just gone. One burst from a BR and it's gone. I found it very useless in comparison to the other Halo games like H3. Uh, vehicles, chopper collision splatter damage will be increased to its vehicle splattering glory. I'm not sure what exactly that means because the chopper used to just be a one hit if you hit them directly in the middle. So hopefully they brought that back. I hope. But it would also be good if the chopper could just splatter like it's warthogs or mongooses with it's one hit like it used to do in Halo 3. That's what the chopper was designed to do, not slowly chop up the enemies. Banshee's agility and damage output will be increased, improve its role as a strike fighter, that's good. Like it's good that its damage has been increased, but it had very terrible health. The health on the Banshee was not great whatsoever. Hopefully that will get addressed as well. Warthogs and Razorbacks should be more resistant to flipping and bouncing. By far, the vehicles, ground vehicles within this game, the Warthog, the Mongoose, and the Razorbacks, the way they flip so easily just from going over a little pebble was insane. Hopefully they do fix this a lot more. Hopefully. So we have all our feedback and stuff here that they are listening to. Desire for Auto Sprint. I'm not too keen on that because... Auto sprints just, yeah, I don't know. Desire for colorblind, I like that because it will help the people that have colorblindness. And sometimes it could help people without it as well, just for having new visual colors. Desire for audio visualization features, I'm not exactly sure what that would mean. Maybe that's for like something like Fortnite has where things flicker off on your screen, like the explosions and that. So that'll be interesting. See this one here, shield recharge sounds on opponent is loud, providing too much information. As I said, I could never really hear shields recharging on the opponents. I could never. Dynamo grenades provided audio hit ticks, allowing them to serve as auto hit markers in rank settings where grenade hit markers were disabled. That doesn't bother me too much, to be honest. Grunt birthday sound effects is too quiet. As I said, I never really noticed a difference. Reports of issues hearing players shop behind you on certain headphones. I've not had that issue. Um, so players want longer or unlimited weapon drills. That is pretty... I kind of like that, especially if people want to work on their aim a lot more. Instead of being set to a time limit and a score, which is good. So we have arena maps and modes and our feedbacks. Desire for more arena maps and modes, which they are listening. We are getting more stuff in Season 2, such as King of the Hill and Attrition, which is absolutely great news. Um, so we got this one here, where your players are able to move instantly after being revived. Many players would like the Elimination to appear in matchmaking so they can unlock the Medic achievement. Elimination should have been there because that's like the only achievement most people do not have. And a lot of people thought attrition was for it. But we were wrong, so hopefully that gets fixed. 
confusion around motion tracker radar ranges. I never really pay much attention to my radar because normally I could hear the people. Um, what else do we have here? BTB, desires for more game modes. Yes, that's great because all we have is stockpile, capture zones, Slayer and CTF. That's all we have. We don't have Assault. We don't have, like, Juggernaut. I don't think Juggernaut was in BTB. Um, One Flag. We don't have any of them. Territories. Um, the desire for your members of your fire team to show up in the camera line. That I definitely do want because it was so annoying. You have your own fire team and then they'd be separated from you and you couldn't, they can't see your pings or hear your, like, notice your call-outs. Desire for equal drops. We need that because it was kind of, it was very unfair having a tank drop on one side and then the other side would get a chopper. That was just, it was not good. And I'm also not a fan of them spawning right in the middle of the map either. That's just, yeah, hopefully that gets all done. Players are reporting teammates out of their depth, so I'm assuming that means, like, when you have an Onyx player and then they end up with a gold or a bronze on their team, which was very unfair to the people that were grinding rank. Champion rank definitely, I believe, needs to come back because that was what made H5, like, you're a top 10 in the world or whatever it was. That was, that, that was good. It made you feel good. Many players would like a reconnect or rejoin feature especially in ranked. In ranked, it'd be great because you can go back to that game instead of, like, you know, you get banned for leaving ranked games and you could join in progress in BTB or 4v4, which made no sense, but there was nothing there for ranked. Desire to opt out of crossplay. I don't really like that, especially with how the population is at the moment. I'd rather crossplay stay on because... We need that crossplay, man. Desire for region lock. Yes, 100% we need region server selection. Not region lock, my bad. We need server selection because being an Australian is so difficult trying to find games. And then if you do find a game, you're on like 200 ping or more. It's just not fun. It was never fun for that. Custom games and Forge desires for more adjustable game modes in custom games. That would be great. I don't understand why we were ever limited in custom games, considering every other Halo game never limited you. Desire for additional bug fixes, which is needed because you'd have times where you just lag out of custom games or it just not work in general. Custom game browser would be great. We definitely need a custom game browser. That's what made Halo. Halo was custom games browser and like Fat Man and all of them game types like Duck Hunt. Desire for Forge. Forge is a need be because we can have other players make the maps for us so not everything's relied on for 343 because they don't need so much stuff on top of them. Performance and stability for PC. This would be great. Various reports of crashing on different hardware specs. I used to get this when I was running a more worse graphics card. I was running a 1650 and I only get 25 FPS. Now I have a 3070 Ti, but at the same time, it still doesn't run perfect. I only get 100 frames, where all my other games, even newer games, I get a 200 or more. Anti-cheat is definitely needed, but I... So the anti-cheat measures were never really that great in Infinite. Uh, desire for better reporting in-game process in game that would be great because there is no reporting system i don't believe there is a reporting system in the game desire for red reticle the red reticle should come back i never really noticed it until people started bringing it up and then i noticed that it wasn't there the aiming in halo infinite is a bit weird to be honest it's very different compared to every other halo game so the major issue right now with infinite which is this i believe in my opinion, is desync. Desync just kills the game for me. I just cannot stand it. Reports of players dying behind walls and around corners, that is the most 
<clears throat> irritating thing about this game is dying around the corner. I just cannot stand it. I'm glad that they're looking at it and looking into it. Reports of melee fights, that bad melee fights, that is definitely one of the other irritating things, especially if you're on high ping, you know you'd never win any of those battles. Inconsistent bullet and melee registration. The bullets, the moment you're on 100 ping plus, your bullets for infinite are just terrible. It's nothing like the older Halo games where you could barely notice it, but this game, you could notice all the bugs and problems. Um, we've already gone over that, some of this. The pulse rifle, hopefully that gets addressed because the pulse rifle is never used, pulse carbine, my bad, is never used in infinite. No one wants to use it because it just does nothing. Like, yeah, it can melt shields but it does no overall damage to players. Um, the plasma pistol is literally just completely useless in this game. It's got no EMP effect. It takes down Spartan shields, but you, after that, you just cannot kill someone with a plasma pistol. It does no damage whatsoever. Players are reporting, report that aiming is too loose and difficult for the commando. The commando can be difficult to aim, but I don't think a lot of people realize that it's more of a tap the trigger weapon not a fully automatic weapon that's when it comes hard to use uh the gravity hammer i do, do believe should swing a little bit faster not too much because it does a lot of dps to an opponent rocket launcher damage does feel very inconsistent i felt like it came off as like halo 3 where you'd shoot it at someone and it wouldn't kill them unless it was the direct impact and it was very very annoying very very annoying um, shield flare could communicate an opponent's state of rate better. Sometimes I'd feel like with the shields, it would look like their shields were down for me. But then when I shoot them, they had full shields. I'm not sure if it was like quarter shields or whatever it was. But I'm glad that is being fixed because that was very, very annoying. Very, very annoying. Um, chopper splatter and gun potential. Uh, damage potential and gun output. Maru maneuverability felt lacking the chopper felt very weird to use and it would flip very easily as well i'm glad that's being addressed banshee did not feel effective with concerns around banshee bombs damage output ineffectiveness of aerial aerial maneuvers and total health they only address the damage output i hope they do fix the health around this the wasp seems much more effective than the banshee when it comes to air superiority. This I 100% agree with because the wasp you can just get nares for days in a wasp where a banshee you'll be struggling because you can just get taken out instantly. Um, movement, the desire for increased physics impulsive with grenades and jumping. That I'm not, don't really take much notice of. Some players would like no play collision. I would like that, no play collision because I prefer it over just walking through someone because I feel like if you walk through someone you get a lot more desync than not walking through someone which was it's kind of annoying this is what I find funny here is controllers believe mouse and keyboard mouse and keyboard players have an advantage and mouse and keyboard players believe controllers have an advantage that I find kind of funny that they're both contradicting each other which I believe I believe controller do have superiority over mouse and keyboard players because I don't really see anyone playing mouse and keyboard on this game at all some controller players believe aim assist stops mid game I believe with this because I have had my aim assist stopped working out of nowhere especially when you jump jumping in this game is like the most is like the worst thing to do ever because you just lose every single aim assist you've got which is not fun uh, so they're hopefully going to add new things to the UI, such as vertical menus, because the way the UI is right now, it is not very optimal. It's not the greatest thing we've ever seen. So hopefully there's a lot of changes to that. But that is basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I gave you enough information about Season 2 coming around. They said there is a lot more coming for season two this is not all of it so we will expect another one later down the track but i appreciate you guys stopping by have a good one and peace